I'm Eric and I have speeddatingclick.com. I just want to tell you how I get venues for my speed dating events. Now you know your city or town centre a lot better than I ever will. So you know the busy pubs and restaurants. You may know the places that aren't that busy and the nights when the city or town centre is quiet. The best venues I have found have their own car park or next to for example a multi-story car park or have good transportation links like a metro uh, like a tram a bus station or underground the busier the location the better it will be it will also be a lot easier to promote your event with posters and leaflets and sell tickets the venue needs to look decent if it's a bit dirty or has a bad reputation, don't waste your time asking. If you don't like it, there's a good chance your clients won't like it either. And they won't buy a ticket. So start at the top and book quality venues. I usually wait for a quiet night, a Monday or a Tuesday. Then I drive to a few pre-selected pubs. I walk in and ask one of the staff to see the manager. If the manager is on a night off, I try and get his or her mobile number. If not, just get the pub's number and then I ring him or her the next morning. The drift of the conversation face to face or on the phone will go something like this. Are you the manager? You need to ask this as you need to talk to the decision maker. Don't waste your time talking to staff. If he or she says yes, then I start to explain the proposition. I say something like, I was hoping you could help me. Now people love helping other people. Just ask someone in the street for directions. They are more than happy to help. In fact, they'll go out of their way to help you. I once had a guy drawn me a map and he even offered to take me to my destination. Again, it would be really unusual if the manager turned around and said, no, I cannot help you. So once he is listening, or in fact, once she is listening, you can say something along the lines of, I'm doing research for a new business, I'm starting. And I was wondering if you would be interested in getting between 20 and 40 new people through your door on one of your quiet nights. Now wait for a response. Now again it will be very unusual for the manager to say no, as new people mean new business and new business means more profit. Then you can go on to say, I'm organising and promoting speed dating events and I am looking for venues. I provide all the promotional material and will be promoting the event on my local website and social media. So you will get a lot of publicity for your business. Would you have a function room or an area that might be suitable? Now this question is worded like this because the manager is now thinking, if I had a speed dating event, where would be the best place to be holding it? Now he may say, I have an area or function room and if that's the case, ask him or her if you can take a look. Once you're in the area or function room, you can ask, what night is usually quiet for you? Again, you ask this question this way because the manager is now thinking of a night where he really could do with an extra 20 or 40 people coming into his pub. I once had a manager say, Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays and sometimes Thursdays. So he was really making his business work over the weekend trade. You'll probably find a lot of pubs run like this at the moment. So if the manager says Tuesdays is the quietest night, you can then say something like, Tuesday's a good night for speed dating. How about if we team up and start to organize an event for you? You have nothing to lose and you could get a lot of new people coming in on the night and coming back. Now in some sometimes 
you will get objections from the manager. If this happens, don't worry about it, as people only object or ask questions if they're interested. If you don't get any objections or questions, then you can be worried. For example, I was once in a function room and a manager said, this would be ideal for your event, but I don't want to pay for staff on the night to serve at the bar in case I don't take enough to pay their wages. So I said, there's no need to put staff on. We can meet in the bar, buy drinks and then come into the function room. At the interval, they can come back into the bar and buy another drink. And then after the event, they can go back to the bar and mingle. Once I said this, he was happy to give it a try. After all, he had no risk and nothing to lose and no extra work to do. And now I'm sure the rest of all of this is just going to be details and you're more than capable to sort everything out and handle things from here. The main thing to do is pick a reasonable venue and find out the quiet night and put the idea into the manager's head of 20 or 40 new people walking through his door and spending money. Now even when you get established and you have other venues running, you can still use the same questions because the new business you're starting and researching is the manager's new venture. This will become a new source of business for you. I hope this helps. Ring me if you want to discuss anything, ask us any questions you like. I'm here to help. Thanks very much.